Hey, fifth grade parents, this is Miss Gibbs from the music room at Rosito. Hey, I wanted to tell you, your students are coming home with a recorder this week. I know they can sound horrible, but if you'll give me a few weeks, they will, they will start sounding really good. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry in advance, but it's a great segue to any instruments that they might choose to play in, in sixth grade next year. But um, anyway, we play recorder karate. Those of you who had students come through the music room before, you, you're already aware of this. But um, we've, I, 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 let me show you my board right here. This is recorder karate, and they um, have the chance to go through each belt. I know this is backwards, but this is the hot cross buns, and the yellow belt is gently sleep, and merrily we roll along, which is, Mary had a little lamb. Uh, it's raining, it's pouring, old McDonald, when the saints go marching in twinkle twinkle little star amazing grace and then ode to joy if they make it and they have to go in progression of those of those songs um they'll get a, a copy of the songs to bring home and those those need to stay in their backpack as well let them come back and forth um and if they make it to the black belt then they get a medal at the end of the year at the at the uh end of the year award ceremonies but listen there's a lot we test on each song and if they don't if they don't play it well they don't get to pass it but it doesn't mean they failed they just get to go back and practice that song again and then they can come test again they can test as many times on that song until they make the next level um so just want to encourage you um we have a lot of students in class it's hard to test everybody i can't test every time because we have other skills that we have to work on in music but with your permission, they can get on YouTube and there's tutorials on every belt. You know, you can, um, you can Google, I'm sorry, YouTube, um, recorder karate white belt, and it'll have lots of songs on there, lots of tutorials and stuff. I'm going to teach them in class, but, but you boys, you parents who have students who are driven, uh, competitive, um, they can get to the black belt fast, faster if they work on it at home. Um, if your student, if you would like for them to test um, at home, you can video them playing the song and you can send it to me by email. You can send it to me um, on Parent Square as a message. Um, obviously, if it's too big, it's not going to go through. Um, but try that and uh it, all those fails i'll give you my cell phone and you can try texting it to me there but um that way they can play the song at home i can reply back to that message hey you did a great job come back and get your belt um let me show you the belts that they get this is a student from like last year that that this student only got white and yellow belt this student actually moved um but they get a belt they tie it onto the bottom of their um recorder and that lets everybody know what, what belt they're on. But um, if they were, you video them and you send it to me, then, then I can tell you, I can reply to it and tell you, hey, great job, come by, come by in the morning and get your belt. Or, hey, you need to practice on this part, you know, and, and, and send it to me again. So that way uh, they just progress faster to the black belt than they would if they waited to test every time in class, okay? Hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, call me, email me, contact me on Parent Square. And by the way, if you're not on Parent Square, get there. It's, it's really a, a good source for us, for you, to, for us to communicate with you and you to communicate with us, um, for you to know what's going on at Rizzuto. But sorry, sorry, this is long. I, I'm a long talker, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I want you to know what's going on. You are getting a recorder. They're getting a recorder. It was free. I had enough free recorders that everybody got one this year. And uh, you don't have to buy one. And uh, if you don't want to keep it at the end of the year, you can donate it back to, <laughs> to the music room. And I'll, I'll sanitize it. Uh, I, run, I run them through my dishwasher. And, and you can do the same thing with yours. Although it's got tape on it, blue tape uh, signifying whose recorders is who. Um, normally, I would keep the recorders in my room. But in the past, we've had bags that they put them in. Um, and we just all put them all in one basket for each homeroom. But with uh, with no bags on them, I'm a little bit leery of just putting all the recorders in the basket. And this way they can, they can just keep it at home and practice uh, as much as they can, okay? So call me or email me with any questions and uh, or parent square me, a message on parent square, and um, and we'll, we'll get through this together. And by the end of the year, your boys and girls will be playing beautiful music on the recorder. Uh, for real. <laughs> okay, have a great day. See you later.